All right, welcome back. I uh, recently found out that I have a recording limit per video. Looks like it's a 10 minute cap, which will be great because this will be more like episodes. So where we left off, left off was that the name has already been taken uh, because here we're actually creating duplicate artists. If we look at our artist model, we have a validation for uniqueness on name. So that means that the factory was getting created. It was failing because uh, we already made the artist. So here we delete the repetitive artist and now our tests are passing. So we have artist name and again, this is interesting because we're actually not defining any attributes yet. Um, I'm curious to see maybe because we're defining name here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Avid Brothers part. And just create the artist. Let's see what that gives us. Here, interesting. So. Let's go back to the artist model. We're getting an error that says name can't be blank. Right, so we, have, we validate the presence of a name. And if I go to my artists RB, we're not defining the name. So here, let's actually set up a default name. And of course, the Avid Brothers. Go back to our test. I've saved all my files. I'm back to passing. Awesome. So we have corrected the artist problem. And now let's go ahead and refactor the media type. Um, let's go ahead and have the media type uh, model up here. Just kind of see what kind of validations we have here. So it looks like we have another validation of uniqueness. So we're going to want to uh, delete. We're going to have to delete this upper one. Let's make sure that we get the uh, duplicate name error first. So we're going to want to create a media type comma there. Get an unregistered factory. Factory not registered media type. So come back and we will media types not factory. I'm going to copy this again. Not that. Um, there we go. Let's copy this. Come back to media types. That. Here we have media type. Uh, for name, let's do laser disc. I don't even know what that means, but it was in here, so I think it's pretty fun. And again, since we've already kind of demonstrated that. Uh, with name defined in there, we actually don't need to define it here. So we can take this out. And let's test again. We have our factory. It should have the name already taken, which is great. So we'll delete that. And this again. Awesome. So I hope you're already starting to see that uh, even though these are just replacing the clutter, um, or not, not replacing a whole lot in terms of lines of code or complexity. Uh, we will get to more like elegant solutions to what we're doing here, but this already is a little more declarative, uh, instead of having to define, okay, pass this name, pass all this information, get all these capital models in here. Right. So when we have something like media type, it just adds a little more clutter than we need to know. And in this case, we're just saying, okay, media type, create an artist, create an album. Uh, and it starts to get a lot more. Uh, just saying what we're doing instead of having to show all the nitty gritty for it. On that note, let's clean up the album factory a little bit and let's add some of these attributes. Uh, so just to drive it home a little bit, if I delete title, do not have it defined in the factory. So when I run this test, I should get uh, that an album title cannot be blank or it, uh, yep, album title can't be blank. Let's go ahead and add a title of Mignonette, great album by the Avid Brothers. Run the test again. Cool. Artist. And here we're going to take a little Hail Mary here and see if we can start setting up our associations. So I'm just going to delete this hard coded setup. And I'm going to add an artist just like this. So without, it's going to automatically look for a factory with the name artist. 
which we have made right here. So in albums, I can just define that it has an artist. Let's see. An error. The album validation has failed because the name, the title has been taken. Cool. Okay. Um, so it looks like this title is not overriding the default. So this is a case where we can uh, respond in two ways. Uh, we can set this to a lazy value, I believe. So this one actually won't run it unless it's been overridden. Name has already been taken still. Okay. So in this case, uh, this is a great example of when we have uniqueness. The best and simplest way to manage this is to set up a sequence block. So we're going to say sequence. The attribute name becomes a symbol. I'm going to say do. We're going to have this incrementing index. I'm going to end this. And the best thing to do is just to interpolate the index. So this will only, oh yeah, we don't need the space. This will uh, stay unique because the integer will just keep incrementing every time um, we use this factory and it will kind of remember that. So uh, for whatever reason, uh, that title is not overriding it. It actually might be picking up maybe an album from a different spot. Maybe um, let's go ahead and delete that. I'm deleting a second. Uh, title here. Another failure. Name has already been taken. So we have a failure on that first create album. Okay. Why? Okay, after I surreptitiously pause the video to debug and not embarrass myself, uh, what we what I figured out was that that album uh, error we were getting, it was actually just kind of a misleading uh, error. We were getting this, um, this error saying that the uh, name already exists, but we were actually picking up the artist. So we were creating an artist, and in this case, it's actually generating a new artist. So it went into artists, which before uh, did not have a sequence. I went ahead and added this. So go ahead and pause if you want to get some more reps on that. So each time we're going to sequence the name with an integer, uh, just like in albums. And every time, uh, if we don't specify an artist, it will create a new artist. To show an example, we can say, we can take this back off. Hmm. All right, and what gets exciting at this point is that since it's generating an artist uh, at the factory level, we can actually remove this create artist. Okay, since we're in the album test, this kind of cleans things up. Uh, we can also remove this artist, just say the same thing. Uh, and let's go ahead and get, override the title on this. That wasn't working before. Um, say just for explicity sake, we're going to override the title. Let's throw a pry in here just to demonstrate that. And we should have totally fine uh, access. Cool. So if we look at album artist, we have two of the Avid brothers. If we look at album two artist, it creates it uh, again. So we have three the Avid brothers. So here we can see the difference between that's that sequence integer packing in. And we're wrapping up on this episode. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. Uh, if we exit, we'll see that the test pass, and we will come back on the next episode for uh, tackling the genre factory.